the two with one from half court. Go off the mark. It's, it's time for high school sports right here on your home for local sports, the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Biosports Physical Therapy, Charter College, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Laura Mounter Real Estate, Les Schwab, One Way Construction, Rivercom 911, Save Mart, and Sankster Motors. And now let's get ready for high school sports. It starts now on your local TV station, the NCW Life Channel. At the buzzer! Hello sports fans and welcome to another broadcast tonight here on the NCW Life Channel of high school basketball. And tonight it means something. Grant Olson along with Eric Grandstrom. It's a, a big nine play-in basketball action all over the area tonight, including here at Eastmont. This is to get to the district right. tournament that starts on Friday. We've got five versus four. We've got Sunnyside versus Eastmont. The two teams have played twice already this season. Eastmont has taken care of business the last two times, including just last weekend. And But it's hard, Grant. We talk about this all the time. Hard to play a team and beat them three times in one season. It really is, and this is what's called the second season now. So you've got to throw everything away, and you're starting again right now. It's tournament time. Yeah. Not officially the tournament, but it kind of is, oh, and this yeah. means a lot. You lose, you're out of the tournament, and this means a lot to both Eastmont and Sunnyside, and they could be a dangerous team yeah. too, Eric. Yeah, two names to watch out for tonight, Maldonado and to McNair. These guys can shoot. Uh, McNair, according to Coach Sanchez, or uh, Juarez, I should say, uh, said that uh, he jumps out of the gym. So those are guys to watch for on Sunnyside tonight. For the Eastmont Wildcats, it's all about uh, this kid that we've watched grow. Talking about jumping out of the gym, I mean, Tyrell is amazing. Tyrell Malcolm has been fantastic. Started off a little bit slow in the season, but boy, he's picked up some pace as he's moved along. Also, players to watch, Eamon Monahan, yeah. if he gets hot from the outside, can do a lot of damage as well. So, yeah. Also, right before the end of the game on Saturday, their last game of the regular season, uh, Ethan Easley twisted an ankle, had some swelling, so we're going to see how he is tonight. And that's a kid, another kid that can jump out yeah. of the gym right there. So it should be a good one. Hope you enjoy it, too. It's Eastmont and Sunnyside coming up live right here on the NCW Life Channel. Stay with us. Love to help others. You need a solid career. You can have it all with help from Charter College. Our 10 month medical assistant program prepares you to work in healthcare settings like physician offices, rehab centers, and clinics. You'll learn to take patient vitals, assist with exams, administer injections, and maintain medical records. When you're ready to launch a rewarding healthcare career, visit chartercollege.edu because we work to get you to work. Pre-game show continues now as we are joined by Eastmont Wildcat head coach George Juarez. And Coach Juarez, here we go, another season. I guess you can throw out what happened during the regular season, and now it's season number two. Were you downstairs in the locker room <laughs> listening to what I was saying to my kids? No. It's kind of interesting because I said, hey, the first part of our journey, it's done. Now we start our second part of the journey. So whatever happened before it doesn't mean anything. We have to be prepared for tonight. And coach, you started off the month of February a little bit slow, four losses in a row, and then two wins here right before this playoff game. Do you, do you feel like your team's got some momentum coming in tonight? You know, I, I do. Uh, we were playing extremely well. Then we ran into that 18-day gap where we were hit with injuries and we were hit with uh, COVID. 
And uh, unfortunately, when we came back, it was Davis, West Valley, Davis, West Valley. Right. You know, and some of those games, if I were honest with you, we gave away. Right. You know, but uh, I do feel the last couple of games we're beginning to get back into some kind of rhythm. So those of us that haven't seen Sunnyside play, what can you tell us about this team? They, team, they did have a quality win over West Valley earlier this year. What can you tell us? You know, they got people that control the ball really well. They're very aggressive defensively. If we don't take care of the basketball, it could turn – turn turn uh i mean it could turn really quickly right you know but but they have some shooters the first time we played him here they didn't have a kid they we played him uh, last weekend as you know and he's a good player good rebounder good driver so uh they're just quick and fast well coach i gotta say you've been a great interview all oh, season the best of luck tonight and uh we'll talk to you again soon we'll see what tonight brings us but you thank you very it. much coach george juarez of the eastmont wildcats and when we come back it's tip time eastmont and sunnyside right here on the ncw life channel When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. When you call Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, you're calling on 35 plus years of experience in the Wenatchee Valley. Spending extra time in your home, you may have discovered an unwanted aroma. Stinky feet, pets, who knows what. Call Dick's today about installing their Train Clean Effects Electronic Air Cleaner or a Ream Halo Ultraviolet Air Purifier. Either way, the air quality in your home will be improved. Proudly servicing all of North Central Washington, call 884-6444 today. Pre-game show continues now here on the NCW Life Channel. Grant Olson and Eric Grantstrom. We are now courtside about a minute and a half away, Eric, from this play-in game between the 10 and 10 Sunnyside Grizzlies and the 11 and 6 Eastmont Wildcats. Should be a good one. I'm expecting a yeah. tight game tonight. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it hasn't been blowouts by any stretch of the imagination. You know, the two teams just met here a few days ago on Saturday down in Yakima. Uh, I should say Sunnyside in the Yakima right, area. Right, right, right. Uh, Eastmont coming out on top, 68-57 in that game. And, of course, as per usual, it was Monaghan with 12. It was Malcolm with 22. And uh, they got to get, you know, even distribution between those three that you mentioned in our pregame show for Eastmont to be successful, I think, anyway. Well, how strange is it that the last time these two teams played was just like a week ago? It was the last yeah. regular season game, and then they turn around and play the same team well, again. Well, and, and strangely, the girls are in the same circumstance tonight where Eastmont's on the road at Sunnyside where they just were, right. you know, last Saturday. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting how the, uh, the season works out and the playoffs work out. And... Wenatchee just played Moses Lake on on Saturday, and now they are uh, back on the road at Moses Lake here tonight. So. That's right, and we're going to try and keep you posted on the uh, scores throughout that yeah. game as well. Right. Let's take a look now at tonight's starting lineups, and we will begin with the uh, Sunnyside Grizzlies. And this is, Eric, a very young team. In fact, no seniors in this starting lineup and only two in the whole roster. Yeah. So we're looking at a pretty young team. Mark uh, Max Garcia is a 5'10 junior. Brent Maldonado, and we're going to be talking about him a lot, a big game just a week ago against Eastmont. 17 points, including, uh, what, five three-pointers, three pointers, I believe. Yeah. He's a junior. Noah McNair is a 6'1 sophomore. Jaden Briones is a sophomore as well. It's six feet tall and rounding out the starting lineup for the Sunnyside Grizzlies is 6'1 junior Ricardo Salinas. Head coach of the Grizzlies is Bruce Siebel, I believe, right? Seibel. Seibel. I'm Seibel. sorry yep. about that. All right, now for the homestanding Eastmont Wildcats. Same as we have talked about for a while now. It's senior 6'2 forward Logan Snyder along with Spencer Heimbinger. He's a guard at six foot senior. Eamon Monahan. Very dangerous wing player, six foot junior. Ethan Easley, as Eric mentioned earlier, playing a little bit banged up tonight, a senior wing player at 6'2. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Wildcats is post player Terrell Malcolm, 6'2 senior. Uh, head coach of the Wildcats is George Juarez. I see the uh, Eastmont to red zone. They, they try to have a theme for each game. You know, they'll have white out or red out or black out. Today it must be working, working zone. 
because they're all wearing uh, well, hard hats and, and reflective vests and things like that. So they're, they're considering this a construction site tonight. Well, I thought I heard one of them tell a player when they were warming up, he asked them what it meant, and they told him, time to go to work. Yeah, well, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I like that theme, yeah, don't you? Definitely so. By the way, we should remind folks that your talk with uh, Coach George Juarez has a sponsor, and that is TC Slingers, and we appreciate their sponsorship. That's right. <clears throat> They're there for all your landscape supplies and material placement. We will take a break, and we'll come back. It's tip time here at Eastmont High School. Don't you love it? It's on a yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, absolutely. East- An early night tonight, so <laughs> we'll right. get out of here and get a chance to get a little sleep before we have to work again tomorrow. So That's right. And there's not a lot going on. I no, mean, there really you isn't. Know, this is going to get out of the way before women's hockey tonight for that gold medal game. Can't so. wait for that. There we go. That's right. We'll take a two-minute timeout. We'll come back. Tip time. Eastmont and Sunnyside right after this. Come on, I'm a certified technician. I was trained to take good care of you. Nine, I've only been to Zadila. I've been coming here for years. These guys are great. Look around. The BMW, the Jag, the Volvo, they're all waiting for regular service. Well, the BMW has a little computer issue, but that's nothing we can't handle. Come on in. From regular maintenance to computer troubleshooting, trust the Global Car Care technicians with your import, diesel-powered, or domestic vehicle. Global Car Care, they speak your car's language. Danke schön. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned, and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. All right, we are back courtside. The uh, introductions of the starters and non-starters completed here at Eastmont High School. We will keep it right here. And coming up next, of course, tonight's national anthem. As we play our national anthem. for some basketball here tonight at Eastmont High School. Great to have you along, as we mentioned on this Wednesday. And uh, boys, you said on Saturday, a sun-soaked Wenatchee Valley oh, today. Man. High temperature, 51 degrees today. Well, you gotta be careful though. We got stacked up snow everywhere and uh, you step on that right now and it's slickered and snot. And we still have plenty of it yeah. too. So Eastmont in their home white uniforms, of course, trimmed in red and blue and sunny side in their away black uniforms trimmed in red and white and we are just about ready for basketball here on the ncw life channel great to have you here our officials from the Chelan county uh, officials association paul weddle kirk lyons and kevin erickson kirk is our head referee tonight and he will have the tip noah mcnair in the center circle jumping it up against logan schneider and right at us and boy you mentioned it. McNair can get off the floor, and he proved that right there because Logan, Logan Snyder's no slouch. All right, here we go. Just underway. Eastmont with the possession. It's Heimbinger, far wing to Terrell Malcolm. Now top side as Snyder 
On the near wing to Monahan. Man to man defense for Sunnyside. Monahan gets it knocked out of his hands and out of bounds. It'll remain Wildcat basketball. Important first couple minutes of this game, Grant, to really set yourself up, not only offensively, but defensively in this matchup tonight. Here's Logan Snyder now, top of the key. That's Heimbinger. Once again, we mentioned that Eastmont has won both meetings between these two teams, but a different scenario here tonight. There's easily in and out for three, no good. Rebound offensive, and it's Monahan back to Heimbinger. There's Malcolm, throws it to nobody home as it goes. No, it is saved over there by Heimbinger. And Eastmont gets it back, and then Sunnyside turns it over. Our first turnover of the ball game. Three and Eastmont, pointer. here's Monahan, three, good. Early 3-0 Eastmont lead. Just a minute gone here in this first quarter. There's McNair. He's on the baseline. Now swings it back out. Spinning around is Bri Briones. Now far side, Maldonado. The very good shooter here for the Grizzlies. Maldonado far side, Briones. Back out, Maldonado does save it from going over the half court line. So does avoid the turnover and then a bomb three-pointer by Maldonado no good Logan Snyder there for the defensive rebound quickly Heimbanger baseline he's gonna put it up for two no good fight for the rebound and it's into the hands of the big man Ricardo Salinas nice give and go for Sunnyside there but the pass wasn't handled but baseline Garcia and then it's blocked underneath and now it's Malcolm back the other way Monahan free throw jump shot good <laughs> Well, he spawned 50% for the field in the early going, Grant. Pretty quick start, too, up and down the floor here, both teams in this 5 0 Eastmont lead. Maldonado near wing, back out now to Brionis, back to Maldonado, goes to the baseline, to the basket now. Looked like he was hit on the arm, no call, but back up and in, nicely done. And it's Ricardo Salinas for the two, first two Grizzly points of the night. Malcolm, far wing, Heimbanger drives to the lane, doesn't do anything with it. Now to Malcolm. 5-2 ball game. Eastmont ahead by three here. As we make our way through this first period, Malcolm. Overhead pass easily. As we mentioned, a bit of an ankle sprain on Saturday night. We'll see how that affects him tonight. Here's Monahan, the jump shot again, up and in. Boy, if he gets hot, Eric. It's a good sign for the yeah, Wildcats definitely. tonight. So off to a good start shooting from the field. Eastmont now falls into a 2-3 zone defense. First time we've seen him do that in quite a while. Maldonado, left-handed dribble. Monahan comes out on him. Salinas, nice pass underneath to Noah McNair, and he is hammered to the floor. And we will have our first free throws of the night. That'll be on Malcolm. That's really not what Eastmont needs is for Malcolm to pick up some early fouls here. Absolutely not. And that's our first team foul here in this first quarter. You know, sometimes when the if they're coming down the lane at you, Grant, you know, it's good to be a hard foul there and kind of set the tone. But if they beat you on a back door like that, let it happen. You know, that's that's a great point. A great point. McNair did make his first one, second one also good. Really good young looking player here for Sunnyside. He's got two points, seven to four ball game. Eastmont on top. All right, far wing. Monahan feeling it, jump shot again. Comes up short on that one. Maldonado the rebound for the Grizzlies. Across the half court stripe, almost a half court trap too by the yeah. two guards for Eastmont. I like this defense. Salinas now down low, Garcia off the glass, up and in. <laughs> Good ball movement against that zone. We'll see how long Eastmont sticks to it. 4-0 run here now for the Wildcats. Or for the uh, Sunnyside Grizzlies, I should say. 7-6. Malcolm takes the long shot. No good. One and done again for the Wildcats. And Maldonado back the other way. Left-handed dribble. Switches to the right for the shot. No good. Easily the rebound as Maldonado gets up slowly from the court. Here's Malcolm in the lane. Won't take it, but Heimbinger will. Baseline. Good. Good job by Tyro Malcolm there. He realized he's got three bodies around him in the paint, so kick it out for the open man, and he nails the shot. 9-6. Wildcat three-point lead here. Halfway through this first quarter. Baseline. Here's McNair with the three. Good. First tie of the ball game since it was zeros to start. 
McNair has five now for the Grizzlies here in this first uh, first quarter. Only a sophomore, as we mentioned. Monahan now underneath Malcolm. Short on that shot. Good block out and rebound by Salinas. Now going down court. Brionos is going to put up the shot. No good. Long rebound into the hands of Garcia in the lane. And we may have a reach-in foul. No, no it's going to be held called ball. a held ball is right. That was a quick one. And possession arrow favoring the Grizzlies here, so they'll get it underneath their own basket with 3.33 left to go first quarter. Brionis looking for some help. Finds the baseline. Garcia, no good. Salinas back up and in. First lead for the Grizzlies here. 11-9 in this first quarter. Snyder now near side to high. Definitely so. Top of the key, Easley's first shot of the night. In and out, no good. Rebound to Brionis. And the Grizzlies back down court to Maldonado. Dribbles across the free throw line. Goes left wing to McNair. Cut off on the baseline. Forced to come back out to Maldonado. Looks inside. Salinas at the elbow. Tried to get it down low, and that's the second turnover now on the Grizzlies here early on. Malcolm back the other way, misses the open layup. McNair the rebound. Quickly back the other way, decides better of it and sets up the Grizzly offense. Far wing, there's Maldonado off the glass for three. Good. How about that? And Coach Juarez wants to talk things over. 2.32 left to go here in this first quarter. Sunnyside 14 and East Mont 9. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Biosports Physical Therapy. You can find them online at biosports.net. They're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And by Charter College. They work to get you to work. Find out about how to enroll today at chartercollege.edu. And Eric, nice start by the Wildcats. Jump out to a 5-0 lead. But, boy, the end of that first quarter, it was all Sunnyside. Yeah, definitely so. And Sunnyside also cleaning up the glass. You talked so many times. Eastmont's gone down the floor, one and done. And so far in this game, Nine rebounds for Sunnyside to one for Eastmont. And you know, it's a good example of height really doesn't matter. The yeah. tallest player is Salinas at six feet one out there. All right, here we go. Out of the timeout, 227 left first quarter. Eastmont now find themselves down by five. Here's Easley in the lane working one on one. That's a good matchup for Eastmont. Easley gets it to go. Into the ball game for uh, Sunnyside, by the way, is D'Angelo Salinas, a 5'10 junior. 14 to 11, Sunnyside leads it. McNair on the wing. Now Salinas, far side, just came into the game. Maldonado, a little bit of a push off, gets open for three, gets outside the line, puts it up, no good. Rebound knocked out of Logan Snyder's hands. It'll go off of Brionis and be Eastmont basketball. 151 left first quarter. Sunnyside 4 for 12 from the field so far. Eastmont is 5 for 12. In this 14 to 11 game, Malcolm gets it knocked away from him, and that's a turnover on the Wildcats. Back the other way comes Sunnyside. Salinas to Brionis, back out to Maldonado. Now Salinas, he looks down low. Maldonado, nice head fake inside. Six footer, no good, but there's McNair back up and in. Well, we talked about his ability to get up there and get higher than everybody in good position to get the rebound. What a player, only a sophomore, nine points here. Or I should say seven in this first quarter. Shots no good. Monahan gets the uh, rebound though. Back to Eamon Monahan on the far wing. Dump down low, Malcolm. Now here's Easley, near side, up and in. I didn't know if he was going to be able to make that because he was kind of floating through the air to his left when he took that jumper, able to knock it down, though. 50 seconds now left to go here in this first quarter. Here's Salinas between the leg dribble, hands it off to Brionis. Nice defense by Heimbinger. Now down low, Maldonado. Double team there, almost lost it. There's Malcolm chasing it down, but it goes to McNair. Now Salinas, nice cross-court pass. Brionis for three, good! Jaden Brionis, first three of the night. It's a six-point Sunnyside lead, 19-13. 22 seconds left in this first quarter. Dump down low, Logan Snyder with it on the baseline, gets whacked on the arm, and that'll be uh, the first 
foul on the Grizzlies here in this first quarter. And it is on Noah McNair. 17.4 seconds left as the big man, Ricardo Salinas, comes in for D'Angelo Salinas. Yeah, that uh, foul to the face. Lucky Schneider didn't get a poke in the eye there. Shot clock is off here with 14 seconds left. Eastmont can go for the last shot to the hoop here. Now under 10 seconds. Malcolm to Snyder. Five seconds left. Eamon Monahan, two seconds. Nice head fake. Puts up the shot off the side of the rim. No good. And that's how our first quarter will end. After one here at uh, Eastmont High School. It's Sunnyside 19 and Eastmont 13. Second quarter action coming your way in 30 seconds. Stay with us. Sure glad we went to Les Schwab. I'm glad the baby's still happy. Well, I'm just glad that along with tires, Les Schwab also does brakes, alignment, and a bunch of other safety services. I mean, if we'd gone to a cheap tire store instead, I'd be a doggone wreck. My thoughts exactly. Swing by today and get road trip ready with our always free pre-trip safety check. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Tonight's game is brought to you by Dix Heating and Air Conditioning, providing heating and air conditioning service installation and repair since 1982. Serving residential and commercial, they specialize in indoor air quality. And Eric rebounding, a big factor in that first yeah, quarter. Sunnyside out rebounding what, or Eastmont right now, 9-2. to two. And That talks about the poor free, uh, shooting for Eastmont in that first quarter. Leading scores for both teams, Noah McNair was seven in that quarter, and Eamon Monahan was seven for the Wildcats. All right, here we go, second quarter underway. Eastmont with it. Malcolm gets tied up and gets it to Snyder. Back out, Monahan throws up the air ball, no good, and the rebound into the hands of Brionis. Now underneath, there's Garcia, one of the shortest players on the court. Turnaround jumper, good. Back the other way, and a turnover, and then a foul as Eastmont turned it over on the press, and then I think Malcolm came back and committed the well, foul he did. Second foul, Grant, and three turnovers for Eastmont. So they've come out in this ball game. They were good for the first two minutes. We talked about how important that was, but then ever since, it's been all sunny side. Absolutely, as Brooks Travato, the 6'1 senior off the bench for Eastmont, and Terrell Malcolm to the bench. Just underway, second quarter. Eight points, Sunnyside lead, a team that's lost twice to Eastmont during this regular season. But as we mentioned, it's a whole new season tonight. Here's Noah, the shot. Noah McNair, no good, just rolls off the side of the rim. Snyder, the rebound. Now driving to the basket, it's Wiersma who nice. came into the game during the timeout, up and in. Beautiful drive by Nick Wiersma. And also these postseason games, Grant, Important for somebody to step in off the bench. You know, it is, and Wiersma's played really well off the bench. I like his aggressive play, and that's the way he does it out there. Here's Garcia now to McNair. As I mentioned, seven points in that first quarter. Maldonado, the leading scorer on the baseline, runs out of room over there. Now McNair left open. He's going to put up the three. No good. Rebound, Garcia blocked from behind by Travato. McNair back up. No good. And Snyder, finally the rebound for Eastmont. Great opportunities for the Grizzlies there. Now it's easily top of the key as Eastmont spins it around the top of the key to Eamon Monahan, who drives to the basket, throws it up. He might get a two-shot foul just by doing that. Not sure it was a shooting foul, but just that motion. As McNair, that's another big foul, Eric. Yeah. That's number two on the sophomore who's yeah, playing. Two key components for either side of the only two fouls in the game right. so far. All right, first free throw of the night for Eastmont, and it's Eamon Monahan at the line. As I mentioned, seven points in that first quarter. First one is good. Here comes Adrian Ruffins now into the game. 6'2", junior for Eastmont. Logan Snyder to the bench. Talk about another guy that can get up there. Holy cow. Watching him in warm-ups is <laughs> a treat. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Monahan now to make it two for two on this chip trip to the charity. Stripe in and out. No good. And Salinas the rebound. He's got four rebounds in the game so far. And we've got a timeout. 30. 
from Bruce Seibel, and we'll keep it right here. 6.13 left in the second. It's Sunnyside 21, Eastmont 16. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Global Car Care. Your vehicle is their number one priority. Diesels and European cars are their specialty. Pick up and drop off is available. Stop by their website at globalcarcare.net. And by Harvest Valley Pest Control. You can rest assured Harvest Valley Pest Control uses kid and pet safe material around your home or office. Call today for your free estimate. Well, Eastmont's got to get some better opportunities on the offensive end. Maybe they need to slow it down a little bit and move that ball to uh, get those drives. The drives are helping. Uh, get to the drives, get people in foul situations, get to the free throw line if you can't make those shots from outside. Is it me or do they seem a little bit sluggish they do. to start with? They They're do. not quite, the awareness no. isn't getting to the ball as quickly no. as they usually do. So we'll see if they can come out of that. Garcia with it for Sunnyside out of the timeout. He's got it in front of the East Mountain bench looking for some help and then throws it away into the hands of Heimbinger. I should say Wiersma, the reverse layup. Good. And Nick Wiersma, four points now here off the bench for Eastmont as the Wildcats have cut this lead to three. Huge. Now it's Maldonado working one-on-one -on -one against Monahan. Gets a mini screen, can't do anything with it. Brionis with the shot, no good. And easily the defensive rebound for the Wildcats. Now to Monahan underneath, there's Ruffins. No good. The rebound comes out to the free throw line, picked up there by Easley. Brooks Travato, he's going to take a three now off the back of the rim. No good. Garcia runs it down, gets hit by a couple of Wildcats. No right. foul there. Surprised there was not a foul there. As Maldonado sets up the uh, sunny side offense, not for long as Brionis, a three, it's good. That's two threes in this one, this one for Jaden Brionis, and now Eastmont back on offense. Monahan takes the shot, no good, easily high for the rebound, puts it back up off the glass and in. I believe it was Ethan Easley with yeah. those two, but yeah, here's Maldonado. Two left in the second. We've got a game. 24-20. Grizzlies lead it. Good matchup. Eamon Monahan and Brent Maldonado here tonight. Into the ball game, by the way. Uh, for Sunnyside, number 32, David Achoa, 5'7", junior. Here's Maldonado. Free throw line. High jump shot. No good. Rebound. Monahan, but he's tied up. And we're going to have a foul on the arm instead. And that's going to be on uh, Max Garcia, his first, and the third team foul now on Sunnyside here in this first half. Reese Gallagher coming into the ball game for Eastmont to replace Ethan Easley. Looks a little winded. I don't yeah. think Easley's come out yet in this first half. 24-20, four-point Sunnyside lead as Nick Wiersma will bring it down court for the Wildcats. Crosses the timeline, looks left, comes right instead to Monahan. Quick dump to Gallagher underneath. Eastmont, quick ball movement, Wiersma, baseline, one-handed shot, tough one, doesn't get it, Salinas the rebound. Quick handoff to Maldonado, he can't go to the hoop, so he's just going to bring it out to Salinas, who will take the shot, free throw line, no good, there's Garcia with another offensive rebound, good. It says 5'10", Eric, I don't think he's even 5'10 out there, but he sure does get a lot of rebounds as Eastmont turns it over once again. Six-point Grizzly lead, 346 left to go here in the first half. Quick moving first half here from Eastmont High School. Eastmont just not crisp here tonight. They're not. Here's Brionis, guarded by Wiersma. Gets a screen from Garcia. Can't do anything with it, though, to Maldonado. He's open for a second. He's going to put up that shot. No good. Gallagher off his hand. He had the rebound and out of bounds. And that'll go right back to Sunnyside. I've got turnover number five for Eastmont in this first half. Did he have control of it before he lost it out of bounds? Well, that might not be a turnover. That's a good point. So I'll cross that one off there. <laughs> okay. I think you're right. All right, Brionis inbounds to Garcia. Now to Brent Maldonado. Once again, Monahan on him. Eastmont played that 2-3 zone just for a brief period of time in the first quarter. Now they've been back to man-to-man -man, man -man ever since. Nice shovel pass underneath. Achoa can't shoot it. And there's Garcia who finally gets a shot blocked by Reese Gallagher. And back the other way come the Wildcats. Top of the key, Monahan with Maldonado also on him. Spins in the lane, puts up the shot. No good. Again, one and done for the Wildcats. Maldonado the rebound. 
Pass underneath. A Choa delayed a layup, and it's good. Back to that eight point lead. Sunnyside up 28 20, and Coach Juarez wants to talk things over. Two minutes, 40 seconds left here. Second quarter. Sunnyside 28, Eastmont 20, back court side in 30 seconds. When you call Dixie Heating and Air Conditioning, you're calling on 35 plus years of experience in the Wenatchee Valley. Spending extra time in your home, you may have discovered an unwanted aroma. Stinky feet, pets, who knows what. Call Dix today about installing their Train Clean Effects Electronic Air Cleaner or a Ream Halo Ultraviolet Air Purifier. Either way, the air quality in your home will be improved. Proudly servicing all of North Central Washington, call 884-6444 today. and Eric Grandstrom back with you on this Wednesday night. A play-in game to get into the Big Nine tournament. It's the Eastmont Wildcats and the Sunnyside Grizzlies. And boy, it's been all Sunnyside here in this first yeah. half as they lead the Wildcats 28-20 here. They're out rebounding at Eastmont 17-7 in the game so far. And uh, the Wildcats is not getting second half, second chance opportunities on the offensive end. It's plus one I, and done. It's right. And plus, I think Sunnyside's beating them to all the loose balls yeah. as well. Yeah. So here we go with 2.36 left in the half. Can Eastmont put a bit of a run on here themselves? We'll find out. Heimbinger back into the lineup for Eastmont. Now it's Malcolm near side wing. Top of the key, Monahan back to Malcolm. Dribbles outside the lane. Puts up the very tough shot. and It's no good. Rebound to Jaden Brionis. Now on the baseline, it's Salinas with it. Ricardo Salinas, the big man. 6-1 junior outside, Maldonado hands it off. Good defense by the Wildcats here. Now to Ochoa. He wanted the drive, couldn't. Now Brionis takes the tough baseline shot, no good. Rebound to Malcolm, and Eastmont's on the move. Malcolm all the way to the hoop, layup, coast to coast, good. Needed somebody to just kind of take charge here for Eastmont, and you get the rebound on the other end, and why not take it coast to coast? Six point sunny side lead as we get close to a minute and a half now left here in the second quarter. Brionis looking for help, still looking for help. Finds Garcia. The ball was touched by Eastmont, so no over and back baseline. Salinas, he gets Ruffins off his feet. And then Ruffins got him on the arm, and Salinas will go to the line and shoot two. Only the third foul of the game for Eastmont. You know, this has been a very clean first half. Six yeah. fouls total between the two teams and eight turnovers. That's not bad for a half of basketball. No. All right, at the line, 6-1 junior Ricardo Salinas, right-handed shooter, free throw good. By the way, a score at the end of the first quarter down at Sunnyside, Eastmont and the Grizzlies all tied at 13 in the girls game. That's a very evenly matched yeah. game too, just like this one is. So Salinas now with five points in this half, trying to make it six here. Second free throw, doesn't get the roll, it rolls off no good, easily the rebound. Seven point Sunnyside lead, at minute 17 now left to go second quarter. Here's Heimbinger as he shouts out the play to his Eastmont teammates, comes near side, here's Malcolm into the lane and does get the shot from six feet. Two times in a row, Malcolm has just said, all right, uh, enough of this. i got to do something. And he's been quiet tonight up yeah, until yeah. now, too. Maldonado, once again, working one-on-one -on -one against Monahan. Salinas comes out to screen. and No help that time for Monahan, but... Execute that follow-up and you know, put yourself in a position where you're not run, jumping over the top of someone. And I think Eastmont at times, and that was a good example, Eric, pulling the trigger just a little bit too quick yeah. in their offensive yeah. set. They had plenty of time on the shot clock, great ball movement, not and then a like, shot like that that's kind of forced. And exactly not what we saw, what they, how they played well this season, but especially last Friday right. against Wenatchee. That ball was going all around the horn. They had six passes before they took a shot. Absolutely. 
26 seconds left to go in the second quarter. About a five second differential between shot clock and game clock. It's Brionis to Maldonado. Now Heimbinger comes out on him as Salinas has it on the baseline. Back out Brionis, 10 seconds on the game clock and we've got a foul. And this may be an offensive foul, it is a push off and it's gonna be on Ricardo Salinas. That's his first and the fourth team foul on Sunnyside. Both teams with four, both teams with four team fouls here in this first half. Seven seconds left now. Eastmont, the last shot of this half. Heimbinger, I don't know if he's aware of the time to Malcolm. Better get it up in the air. He does, and off the front of the rim, no good. At the break, been a good one tonight. It's Sunnyside 29 and Eastmont 24. We'll take a two-minute timeout, and we'll come back with more here from Eastmont High School. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. What is the address of your emergency? Yes, it's me. It's my husband. I think he's having a special thing the matter with him. It was a feeling that I'll never forget, like being able to meet them and know that he survived. Okay, tell me what's happening. Is he conscious? No, he's not. He's okay. not. Okay, take a deep breath for me. I'm getting you help. Rivercom means to me that I still have my husband here with me. They're the ones that guided me through saving his life. Hi, I'm Shauna Larson. I'm the designated broker here at Laura Mounter Real Estate. We are a locally owned firm and we've worked hard to earn our reputation of always doing business the right way. Laura Mounter Real Estate is continually investing in the best technologies and highest quality marketing. For these reasons, our community has voted us the world's best real estate office for the past five years. If you have real estate needs, let a Laura Mounter real estate agent show you the difference. Back, our halftime score is Sunnyside 29 and Eastmont 24. East Sunnyside leading after the first quarter, 19-13, but Eastmont actually outscored the Grizzlies 11-10 in that second quarter to make our current score 29-24. Eastmont came out great, led it 5-0, but after about the two-minute mark, things changed for Eastmont. Yeah, definitely so. They, the shot stopped falling for Eastmont, and you said it perfectly, one and done down on their offensive sets. Meanwhile, uh, the Sunnyside Grizzlies getting second chance opportunities. A lot of offensive boards in that first quarter leading into the second quarter. They uh, lead Eastmont by eight rebounds here in the game so far. I'm sure something that the Wildcats not used to in the two previous meetings with this club. But Eastmont settled down the defensive end and is basically saying, okay, you're going to beat us. You need to beat us from the perimeter. We're not going to let you get these drives and nothing. And then meanwhile, Tyrell Malcolm has got to be a force in this game. He started to become that in the latter part of the second quarter. Yeah, he just was kind of tentative in that first quarter especially. And then, as you mentioned, came on. Well, he got those two fouls pretty quick yeah, too. Yeah, he did. So. You know, it's been a clean game. Four team fouls on each team in that first half. But yet... I just think that Sunny Eastmont has looked a little bit sluggish. Sunnyside has beaten them to all the loose balls. Yeah. They've done a better job on the glass. And one thing we know watching Eastmont, they like to get up and down the court, and you can't do that if you don't get the rebound. Right, definitely so. And you talked about 
the loose balls or those I learned in uh, lacrosse. It's a 50-50 ball. Who's going to get that 50-50 ball? And uh, it's exactly the case here. They were being out hustled to those 50-50 balls by the Grizzlies. That's right. We got to mention coming up this weekend, of course, our big production of the year, Eric. It's the Apple Blossom Festival Royalty Selection Pageant presented by Cashmere Valley Bank. It all kicks off at 6:30. Countdown to coronation with you and you've got a big part in this it should be a big production this weekend yeah it's going to be great it's a different location three years in a row now third uh, year in a row that it's been in a different <laughs> location it was at the pack last year uh this year at the wenatchee convention center and uh, it, it's a little unusual for the uh of course the wenatchee central lions club that that produces the pageant um, no curtain that's the weirdest thing it's, right. it's a production yet you usually have a curtain to draw to be able to kind of hide what you're doing behind the scenes and things like that they don't have that at the convention center so that's a little different uh but the uh, girls have done a great job of course we're meeting them all this week on wake up with angie valley and on our website if you want to see my interviews with the uh, top 10 candidates you can see that on our website we've got two more uh coming up tomorrow morning and of course we'll wrap it up with uh, the final two on friday and then the uh, ladies have just been i mean working really hard uh, to get ready for this weekend, uh, they get uh, kind of a night off, if you will, tonight. Dress rehearsal is tomorrow night at the convention center. And then, of course, pageant with the uh, Countdown to Coronation, our uh, pregame show, as I like to call it. Now, the whole <laughs> Apple Blossom Festival is also comes out referring to it as the yeah, pregame show right, for NCW right. Live Channel. That starts at <laughs> 630 on Saturday night. Uh, we'll be joined by some uh, former royalty. Uh, we'll be also joined by uh, key components uh, for sponsorship and things like that. And then, of course, uh, we'll get the outgoing Royal Court from 2021. We'll talk to Darcy Christofferson, and then we'll turn it over to the pageant or the fly on the wall. Uh, although this year they've asked, since I'm wearing a tux, if I could help the ladies up and down the stairs a few oh. times. So I'll be doing that during the no pageant problem. as well. Yeah. Well, Eric, you did an outstanding job on those interviews, too. Well, thank They're you. just great. Thank Isn't you. it amazing the quality of girls that we oh, have yeah. here in yeah. this valley? It really is. And, and uh, th this process and all the education that they get and all the training that they get and etiquette training and, and speech training and speech writing and all of these things will do nothing but help them down the, the stretch of, of yeah. the rest of their life, no matter what they do, because all this does is it prepare you for the, a job interview. Absolutely. I mean, that's really what it does. And uh, they'll spend the whole morning on Saturday with the judges doing one-on-one -on -one interviews and, and doing uh, panel interviews and things like that. And that's part of the judging process. And then, of course, you get to the pageant. Uh, their speeches are judged. And uh, then their impromptu questions are judged. The uh, community gets a chance to vote on the original speech online for that. And, and then, of course, the top three will represent the Apple Blossom Festival for the 2022 festival wow. which we are going to have this year it's going to be two weekends complete weekends they're going back to two parades awesome. this year awesome. so uh, getting back to normal i oh, can't wait for that yeah all right we'll take a two minute timeout we'll come back and take a look at first half stats our score at halftime sunnyside 29 and eastmont 24 we're back after this News, weather, and sports. It's all here weekdays at 5, 6, and 10 on your local news source, the NCW Life Channel. Let's face it, selling your good used vehicle can be a hassle, if nothing else. Consign your vehicle here at Global Elite Motors. When you do, you'll get the best possible price because of our proprietary selling system. We offer the ability to finance, add warranties, take trade-ins, and much, much more. Each consignment vehicle we represent is thoroughly inspected and marketed to attract qualified buyers. Let us help sell your quality vehicle. Buying a vehicle? Consigning a vehicle? Stop by Global Elite Motors on Wenatchee Avenue at Global Car Care. Connect with us on Networked as we introduce you to the people and organizations who are leading innovation in the region. Get inspired, engaged, and networked right here on the NCW Life Channel. Hello, my name is Brian Brett, Fire Chief for Schlein County Fire District 1. 
and I just wanted to talk about how amazing our Rivercom team is. They are intentional, purposeful, and skillful in everything they do, and they are the best at what they do. How they prepare, how they handle the caller, how they coordinate the emergency services, and how they push themselves to be the best. This is the kind of spirit that our Rivercom telecommunicators have. Our community needs you, we need you, we admire you, you're our lifeline. Let's take a look at those first half stats now. We'll begin with the uh, visiting Sunnyside Grizzly leading the way so far unofficially. Noah McNair was seven points in the first half. He was two for two from the free throw line. Six points for Max Garcia. Five points for Ricardo Salinas. Three points for Brent Maldonado. Three as well for Jaden Brionis. And two points off the bench for David Ochoa. From the free throw line, the Grizzlies three for four and committed three first half turnovers. And now for the homestanding Wildcats leading the way, Eamon Monahan with eight points, seven of those in the first quarter. Six points for Ethan Easley, four each for Terrell Malcolm and Nick Wiersma, and two points for Spencer Heimbinger. Eastman only shot two free throws and made one out of two and committed five first half turnovers. Rebounding wise, Eric. Uh, Sunny size is a much smaller team, but they've held their own here in the yeah, first half. Yeah, they certainly have. And some of those are long rebounds. Right. Uh, but 19 to 11, the edge for Sunnyside rebounding as a team here at the half. Uh, shot percentage, you'd think, the way things kind of went in that first quarter or in the first half, that Sunnyside would be shooting their lights out tonight, but they're not. Uh, they're 9 of 32 from the field, so that's 28%. Eastmont is 11 for 30, so both teams about even as far as the shots taken in that first half. Eastmont a little bit better at making them 36% in the first half. And again, uh, I love the attack for Eastmont. Take it to the rack, get the fouls, get the buckets, get Terrell Malcolm involved in this offense. Also have a halftime score from our other play-in game tonight. It's Wenatchee at Moses Lake. And a halftime score is Moses Lake 26 and Wenatchee 21. So a close one down I-90 as well, Eric. And Moses Lake. So here we go. Third quarter action just about ready to go. Great to have you along on this Wednesday night here on the NCW Life Channel. Noah McNair, the sophomore, with seven points will throw it in for the Grizzlies. Does so to Maldonado. And we are underway here in the second half. Should be a good one. McNair, not a Brionis, looking for someone down low. Lots of movement by the Grizzlies away from the basketball, too. They're always moving on Love offense. Love to see that. And, by the way, they only spent about two minutes in the locker room at halftime. They did not much to say. Like you no. said, it was pretty successful for them. Garcia now to the basket, gets his shot blocked. But there's McNair with the rebound. No look pass to Maldonado. No good. But there's Garcia again with the rebound inside the lane. As he kicks it back to Salinas, free throw, jump plot, good. They get three opportunities to get one to go, and that, again, just shows, to the problem for Eastmont. Got to block out and get those loose balls. Seven-point Grizzly lead, 31-24. The big man Salinas now with seven points for the Grizzlies. Here's Logan Schneider looking for Easley, and there's a push in the lane. Yeah, Malcolm was trying to make his way through the lane and got held up. And this will be on Ricardo Salinas. That's his second. So a couple of Grizzlies playing with two fouls, Noah McNair and Ricardo Salinas. Two fouls for Eastmont's Terrell Malcolm as well. Underneath the map basket, Monahan throws it away, but then gets the ball back and is standing on the end line. That's a turnover on the Wildcats. How many do you have them for now? Six? I, six now total, okay. yeah. Seven-point lead. Here's McNair wide open in the lane. Took the shot. Luckily for Eastmont, misses it. And Snyder high for that Wildcat rebound. Too easily steps his way through the lane and but gets that's pushed. Okay. That's okay. That's what I want to see. If you've got a gap, take it and get the foul. Get to the free throw line. And that's another foul on Salinas too, Eric. And that's his third now. The 6'1 junior who plays very well down low for his 6'1 stature. And set to come in as D'Angelo Salinas for Sunnyside. Here's Easley. First free throw. Gets the roll. It's good. Ethan Easley, the 6'2 senior now with seven points on the night. Can make it eight here with this made free throw. Free throw is going to be so important, it looks like, tonight. Here's Easley's second. Also good. Ethan Five-point Sunnyside lead. 6'45. Left third quarter. Maldonado 
He's been fairly quiet offensively. Yeah, he one three-pointer, and that was in the first quarter. Now well, McNair has been able to take up some of that slack. Here's a jumping battle right here. Malcolm and McNair. Salinas, the oh, lefty wow. for three is good. Wow. Off the bench, ice in his veins. 34-26, eight-point Sunnyside lead. Does that match our biggest lead yep. of the night, I believe? Yep, it does. Now dump down, easily on the baseline, working one-on-one, -on -one. off the glass, good. Working yep. on Salinas. Got to keep working the ball inside if you're Eastmont. You have the advantage of a little physicality and a little height. Take advantage of it. Easily now with 10 points. First double-digit score in either team tonight. Maldonado has it poke checked away from him by Monahan. Salinas in the lane, down low on the baseline. Garcia can't take the shot. And now back oh out my. to Salinas, the lefty, another one no good. And Garcia and Heimbinger fight for it, but it goes off Garcia, and it will be Eastmont basketball. I get a, you got to give Sunnyside credit. I mean, there's a black jersey about every one of those balls after a shot. They all look like they're about 5'9", yeah. don't they? Yeah, They don't exactly. look like they're that tall at all. Well, we saw that in football. They all looked about the same size. Here's Monahan left open. Baseline, three, good. And Monahan now in double digits with 11. You know, and one thing, if Eastmont can reel him in here and get about a four or five point lead, you've beat him twice this season. I wonder if that gets into the mindset of Sunnyside a little bit. Fantastic point. Maldonado, the quick layup, doesn't get it to go. And on the rebound, we've got a foul, and it's on a Grizzly. And this one is going to be on McNair, and that is three on him. Huge, huge. So two starters now for Sunnyside, both with three fouls. Take it at him. Will be big here as we make our way through this game. Here's Heimbinger for Eastmont with the basketball, hands it to Monahan, not a Snyder. Back over easily with Garcia out on him, man to man. Baseline Monahan. Quick dribble, picks it up, now back to Monahan. Free throw line, tough jump shot, no good. I think that went off the hands of Snyder. No, it didn't, it went off Salinas of Sunnyside and a fresh shot clock for the Wildcats. Snyder to bring it in for Eastmont. Underneath, oh, easily on the baseline, off the glass, no good. There's that jumping ability, a back up, no good. This time, Garcia, another rebound. One of the shortest guys on the floor comes up with a rebound. To Maldonado, to Brionis now. Salinas near side, Maldonado, boys, hasn't had much tonight offensively. Does run the show as far as the offensive set goes. Now Salinas inside, McNair, double pump layup, good! He's fouled. Noah McNair. Basket is good. Now the chance to complete the three-point play just when the Grizzlies needed it. Three fouls on Terrell Malcolm. So some big fouls on some big players on both sides now here almost midway through this third quarter. I wonder if George War is. I haven't seen him grab for anybody on the bench yet. And McNair does complete the oh, three-point play. They didn't replace him. Surprising. Ten points now for Noah McNair, who Eric mentioned did not play up until recently, and he's been a big addition. Malcolm for three. Seven for Terrell Malcolm, and that gets Eastmont right back to within three, four minutes left in the third. Salinas, D'Angelo Salinas with it, the left, he has it poke checked away from him and that's a turnover on the Grizzlies. Back the other way, Malcolm, boy did he hang in the air on that one and Maldonado tried to stay with him. That's pretty tough duty. Yeah, it is. And Brent Maldonado will pick up his first and that's now four team fouls on the Grizzlies here. And we're early in this second half. Our head referee doing some preventative officiating there, talking to Terrell Malcolm and trying to get him to calm down a little bit. There was a little eyeballing after that shot. Malcolm in and out, no good on that free throw. As Salinas to the bench. And Ricardo Salinas checks back in for the Grizzlies. Malcolm missed the first, here's the second on the way, it's good. One for two on that trip for Terrell Malcolm, and it's 37-35. Eastmont has clawed their way back into this one here in this third quarter. Brent Maldonado with Monahan on him. 
Looks left, goes that way. It's Brionis now to Noah McNair. McNair spins on Malcolm, gets Malcolm off his feet. He makes a lot of contact, no foul called. Now it's Salinas travel. inside, and he did travel. That's one thing about Terrell Malcolm. I mean, he really has the hops, but he also goes for those head fakes a little too much. You know, I think about 70% of high school players go for yeah. that head fake. Oh, yeah. It's just ingrained yeah, in these young you players. Yeah, because you think, oh, I got the block here. Absolutely. Two-point ball game with 317 left in the third. Malcolm for Eastmont. Left alone. Baseline shot. Good. And he's fouled. We'll see if it counts here. It should. Yep. Oh no, they're going to say it was on. Oh, wait a minute. The ball went in. There we go. Paul Otto okay, now says, so the shot is good. And the foul is on Maldonado, his second. So Malcolm can give Eastmont the lead here. And does with the free throw. Second lead change of the game. And a timeout, Sunnyside. 3 13 left to go, third quarter. It's now Eastmont 38 and Sunnyside 37. We're back courtside with you in 30 seconds. Come on, I'm a certified technician. I was trained to take good care of you. Nine, I've only been to the dealer. I've been coming here for years. These guys are great. Look around. The BMW, the Jag, the Volvo, they're all waiting for regular service. Well, the BMW has a little computer issue, but that's nothing we can't handle. Come on in. From regular maintenance to computer troubleshooting, trust the Global Car Care technicians with your import, diesel-powered, or domestic vehicle. Global Car Care. They speak your car's language. Danke schön. Eastmont Wildcats slowly pecking away, outscore, have outscored uh, Sunnyside in this quarter, Eric, 14 to eight, and now have the lead 38-37, and they've been patient in the process. Yeah, they really have. Uh, they're four of nine from the field in this uh, quarter so far. Uptick in that regard, and the foul situation, five team fouls already for Sunnyside. Eastmont, like I say, they gotta keep taking it at them on the offensive side. Because you mentioned it, there is a size difference. Eastmont has the size advantage, no doubt about it. Out of the timeout, Sunnyside basketball. Now find themselves down by one as led have led most of this game. Maldonado goes far side to Briones. Eastmont playing well out in their man-to-man -man defense. Now Maldonado left open for three. Good. And I don't think Eastmont wants to him him to get going here. No. In this second half, he's got six points. Terrell Malcolm has it in the lane, head down, now shot off, no good. Salinas the rebound for Sunnyside. Grizzlies lead it by two, 2.38 left third quarter, McNair. To Salinas, wanted to give and go almost, or to the back door, I should say, to Maldonado, gets oh, him this nice. time, nicely done. Maldonado, good, fouled oh. by Malcolm. And that's four fouls on Terrell Malcolm. That is Huge, the basket's good, and as Eric mentioned, Terrell, Terrell Malcolm has picked up his fourth personal foul, and now Coach Juarez has to get him out of there. You'd think he's telling the coach he wants to stay in, but Reese Gallagher off the bench for Eastmont. Maldonado, free throw, no good. 2.25, left third quarter, four points, Sunnyside Lee. There's Malcolm. And McNair, that's a big foul as well. That will be number four on him. So a couple of big stars on yeah. each team now. Four fouls, and that could be big oh, with a lot of time huge, left. Huge, huge. You might determine if you get to the district playoffs on Friday and be watching it from the bench if you're two of the main people for this game. McNair stays out there. Malcolm comes to the bench. Reese Gallagher in there for Eastmont. Heimbinger. Sets up the Wildcat offense. Looks right, goes that way, almost stolen away. Monahan, the jumper by himself. Beautiful off yeah. the glass. Good, I love those shots. And Monahan now with 13. A giant piece of glass is there for a reason, kids. You know, Use that's it. right, exactly. <laughs> Brionis now at the top of the key. Tried to get a screen from Salinas. Heimbinger worked his way through it. Time Coach out. Seibel wants timeout. 
Minute 51 left to go here. Quarter number three. We got a good one at Sunnyside 42 and Eastmont 40. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Laura Mounter Real Estate, voted world's best realtor in the Valley for 2021, and by Les Schwab. They take your safety seriously every time you stop by. Boy, this is a good game tonight. We kind of thought it might yeah. be close, and it sure is. Yeah, absolutely. First time the two teams played uh, back in I think it was in December, January. Eastmont came out on top by 22 points, 67-45. Last weekend, it was an 11-point game, and, uh, you know, it was McDonald that did all the damage, or Maldonado, I should say, did all the damage for Sunnyside in that game with five three-pointers. So they can heat it up from outside, but I like what Eastmont's doing defensively here. And as Coach Juarez and you both pointed out, that uh, Noah McNair did not play in that 20-point right. win early right. in the season. Right. And he's a difference maker, no oh, doubt yeah. about it. But with four fouls sitting on the bench right now. That's right. And in for him back into the game is David Ochoa for Sunnyside. Two on the shot clock to the basket. The shot taken oh. and good. Man. Maldonado, I believe. Yeah. And he's got 10 now. Heating up here late in this game. Four points, Sunnyside lead. A minute 22 left. Monahan in the lane. Jumper good. He's got 15 now in the ball game, and it's a 44-42 score. Minute 10, left third quarter. Maldonado looking for a screen. Got one from Achoa. Now passes it near side to Brionis, excuse me, now baseline. Here's Salinas underneath, blocked from behind oh. by Gallagher, and he's going to get to the free throw line. Schneider had good position underneath, but it was coming from behind uh, Gallagher that got him and will send uh, Sunnyside to the free throw line here. 13 foul for Eastmont, so they're in pretty good shape other than Malcolm having to sit on the bench with four fouls right now. You know, Ricardo Salinas is only 6'1", but he gets great position under yeah. that basket. Oh, absolutely. Free throw good by Salinas. He's got eight points in the game as Nick Wiersma checks in. And Heinbinger to the bench for Eastmont. He had some good contributions in that second quarter, Grant. Wiersma did. Salinas' second free throw also good. 46-42. Sunnyside clinging to this lead. 47 seconds left third quarter. Gallagher, now to Wiersma. Backs up a little with Garcia on him, and Garcia just taps it away from him. Back comes Sunnyside, 37 seconds. Oh, Garcia in move. the lane, puts it up, no good. It was a great move, comes up empty, and Monahan back the other way. He's going to stop and pop from 10, off the glass again. Good. Three buckets in a row for Monahan, and it's so crucial for Eastmont to have Monahan contribute while Malcolm's on the bench. Absolutely. Nine points now for Monahan this quarter. 14 seconds, shot clock off here, left in the third quarter. Don't foul. <laughs> Seven seconds, that's right. Monahan guarding Maldonado. Three seconds now. Here's Brionis left open nope. for three, no good. And that third quarter is over. What a good one, too. After three, Sunnyside 46 and Eastmont 44. Fourth quarter coming your way in 30 seconds. Are you a take charge kind of person? Consider a career as a health unit coordinator. You'll work to keep health facilities running efficiently by coordinating medical providers, patients, and departments. The Charter College Certificate in Health Unit Coordinator Program can get you up to speed on basic patient care, health records management, health and safety procedures, and medical billing. And the 10-month online program includes a computer you keep. Get started at chartercollege.edu, where we work to get you to work. Cats outscored Sunnyside 20 to 17. They were down by five at the break. Now down by only two as we head to the fourth quarter. It's Sunnyside, the visitors 46 and the homestanding Wildcats 44 in this big nine play-in tournament game here from Eastmont tonight. Grant Olson along with Eric Granstrom and this Eric should be a great fourth quarter. Yeah, absolutely. The two teams combined for 37 points and by the way, both teams shot the lights out in that third quarter. Eastmont 53% Sunnyside 50% in those quarters. All right, hope you enjoy this fourth quarter. We're underway. 
Reese Gallagher will stay out there with Terrell Malcolm playing with four fouls. We'll probably see him on the bench at least for a while here in this fourth quarter. Here's Wiersma had to put a double pump shot up there because he was tied up and the possession arrow will favor the Grizzlies. Tough call there to get coming yeah. out of a quarter break. I thought, uh, you know, McNair is back out there here for Sunnyside, I isn't he? He is. Yeah, okay. So I thought for a moment that Wiersma was going to lean into him and try to get uh, his fifth foul. I'm surprised McNair is out there, to be honest with you. This early in the quarter. Right. Bet. Now Maldonado for the Grizzlies, guarded there by Monahan. Gets a screen from McNair. At least it gives him some room to maneuver. Good defense by Monahan, And yeah, now he's, he's right back great. on him. Monahan gets off his feet, does get a piece of it. Boy, a late call, a very late call. And it looks like it will be on Monahan, and it is his second in the fourth team foul now on Eastmont here in the second half. That'll spend, send junior Brent Maldonado to the free throw line where he is 0 for 1 so far tonight. Right handed shooter, free throw is good. 11 points now for Maldonado on the night as Sunnyside extends their lead to three, 47-44. Maldonado, second free throw also good. Boy, every time Eastmont closes that gap, it seems Sunnyside finds a way to get it back out again. Absolutely. Gallagher to Wiersma. Eastmont whips it around. Snyder's pass blocked and picked up by Easley. Easley's going to back up behind the three-point arc. No good. Look at McNair with that rebound. Boy, he can jump just as advertised by Coach Juarez. Now McNair back the other way. Could have got his fifth foul there. Turnaround jumper instead is no good. Salinas back up. That's going to be an offensive foul on a push off on Salinas underneath. And we got one on one free throws already for Eastmont. Boy, that's going to really be big as and Salinas. That's number four. Right. Salinas. Picks up his fourth. Fellow starter Noah McNair with four. And Terrell Malcolm for Eastmont on the bench right now, also with four fouls. Free throws so huge now. 651 left in the fourth. And Eastmont down by four. And Malcolm's going to come right in. Also a bit of a surprise right now, Eric, I think. Well, you're down by four. Uh, you know. There's no season after this. If well, you that's true. Uh, maybe that's why McNair's still in there as well. Gallagher will get his second free throw. Miss, or should say the front end of the nice. one and one is no nice. good. Good positioning by Easley. Draws the foul on the defense. And Easley will go to the free throw line. The foul's on Brent Maldonado, only his second. So Heimbinger and Malcolm come back in. Oh, they say that's his third on the board. Do you have Maldonado for three? Oh, I do okay. now, yeah. All right. All right, big free throws now. Ethan Easley for Eastmont. Rolls off the front. No good. Wow, huge free throw ball right knocked there. Knocked away. Eastmont comes up with a loose ball. Turnover by Sunnyside. Reverse layup. Monahan up and in. Eastmont coming back, 48-46, two-point Sunnyside lead. Maldonado with it. It's been a great matchup tonight. Both players play great defense. Monahan and Maldonado. Maldonado still on the dribble, not a Baronis. Brionis to McNair. Oh, nice drives, move. stops, puts up the jumper, no good. Malcolm with the rebound, and Eastmont can tie or take the lead here. Sunnyside 0 for 3 so far in the quarter from the field. Six minutes left. Malcolm three. It's good. And Sunnyside wants to talk things over. 5.55 left to go. Fourth quarter. Eastmont 49 and Sunnyside 48. Back courtside with you in 30 seconds. Hello, my name is Brian Brett, the Fire Chief for Schlein County Fire District 1, and I just wanted to talk about how amazing our Rivercom team is. They are intentional, purposeful, and skillful in everything they do, and they are the best at what they do. How they prepare, how they handle the caller, how they coordinate the emergency services, and how they push themselves to be the best. This is the kind of spirit that our Rivercom telecommunicators have. Our community needs you, 
We need you. We admire you. You're our lifeline. So the Eastmont Wildcats playing determined basketball here in the fourth quarter have now taken the lead over the visiting Sunnyside Grizzlies by a score of 49 to 48. And really, Eric, they've done it here in this fourth quarter with persistence. Yeah, and the second half, Eastmont shooting 60% from the field in the half. It's unbelievable. Yeah. 5.53 left as we get going to live action. Sunnyside now down by one. Here's Maldonado, remember, loser out here tonight. On the baseline, Salinas hands it off, back to Maldonado, puts up the tough shot in traffic, no good. Malcolm, the big rebound for Eastmont, now to Easley. Shuffle pass back to Malcolm, to Easley, got tripped up by Maldonado, and that will be a big one on him as well. Number four on Brent Maldonado, so three starters for Sunnyside, now playing with four personal fouls. Good idea by Malcolm to get rid of that fo uh, football, I was going to say. Get that <laughs> rid of that basketball, get it over to Easley, because Malcolm's out there playing with four fouls. Easley's in pretty good shape. Got to reach, and you head to the line. Easley two of three from the charity stripe so far tonight. First one on the way, good. Two point, Wildcat lead, 50 to 48. Five and a half minutes left to go, fourth quarter. Has not been easy by any stretch. No, it hasn't. 11 points, by the way, in the night for Easley, trying to make it 12 here. And it's good. Three point, Eastmont lead, 51-48. Maldonado across the half court stripe. Picked up immediately by Eamon Monahan. Now left side, it's Salinas with it. Underneath, dump pass to Garcia. And I'm, it's only I'm, about 5'9", but he plays a lot bigger yeah. than that. Garcia has played outstanding tonight. Here's Salinas again, the head fake. Shot short though, and Balcom with the rebound. Eastmont on the run, three on one. Monahan, 10 footer off the glass again. Good. Five point Eastmont lead. I think that's the bit. No, that ties their biggest lead from the first yep. quarter, doesn't yep. it? Yep. Maldonado tried the head fake. Monahan wasn't biting, though. Back to Monahan or to uh, Maldonado. Now he's open for three. Puts up the shot. It's in. That's the first bucket made by Sunnyside here in the fourth quarter. They were 0 for 5 prior to that. And all five points this quarter made by Maldonado. The putback easily. It's good. Lead remains four for the Wildcats as we dip under four and a half minutes left fourth quarter. Maldonado beat oh, Monahan beautiful. that time. Oh. Doesn't get the layup though and Malcolm the rebound. Two on one Eastmont easily to the basket. Layup no good and he's going to be fouled and go to the line. Since Eastmont I'm... playing the game they want now. Run up and down the floor. That foul is on Jaden Briones. And that's only his first foul but... Double bonus time now for the Wildcats. Winner, by the way, of this game will take on the winner of Moses Lake and Wenatchee tonight. Right. Easily. Free throw off the side of the rim this time, no good. Four of six on the night now from the free throw line for Ethan Easley. 6-2 senior. Trying to make this a five-point Eastmont lead and does. They might win it from the free throw line here the way it looks. As it's 56-51 as we get to halfway mark of this fourth oh, quarter. Oh, a reach in by boy. Easley on McNair. Not he got all ball there. And that's only the first personal foul on Ethan Easley. It's only the fifth team foul on Eastmont. So side out for the Grizzlies. Jaden Briones will bring it in. He throws it away from McNair, who was actually breaking to him. And he threw it away. And that's, I've got four turnovers this half on Sunnyside. Inbounds of Wildcats. Heimbinger with it. Eastmont with a five point lead. Monahan spins at the post. The shot off the side of the backboard. Now it's Maldonado. Uh-oh, if that's on Malcolm, that's number five. And I don't think he even touched him, to be honest with you, Eric. Oh. And yep. that is number five on Terrell Malcolm. Yeah. 
14 points on the night for Malcolm, but he does so much more on each end of the floor for Eastmont. He's upset as Coach Juarez decides to replace him with Brooks Trovato, the 6'1 senior. Well, now it's up to Eastmont not to lose an edge here mentally. This becomes a mental game right now. It's a five-point differential. Eastmont has beaten this team twice, and you wondered once they got this lead back, what would happen with the psyche for Sunnyside? Well, now the Grizzlies realize Eastmont just had one of their best players foul out, so we'll see how the Grizzlies attack here. Maldonado for the Grizzlies on offense. 3.42 left, fourth quarter. Maldonado takes a peek at the scoreboard. Now to Salinas working on Snyder to McNair. He gets oh. hammered by oh. Easley. He got oh. some body there, it looked like. Well, but that was a good acting job, though, too, by the sophomore. He obviously gets it. Easley with his second foul sends Noah McNair to the free throw line. Has 10 points, but has not scored here in this fourth quarter. When you go up like that and your head spasms to the left and your whole body follows and you have somewhat a contact, well, that's a lot of good acting there. McNair, free throw good. The sophomore's got all the moves. Yeah, the acting does. moves, yes, you can he does. jump and yes, shoot. He does. What a player. He's got some pretty nice looking kicks on his feet too. He does. Second free throw also good. Got 12 now in the ball game in this 56-53 game. It's a huge possession for Eastmont this time down the floor. Travato dump pass dangerously down low. Easily picks up the loose ball, no good. Gets his own rebound, put back, and he's fouled. And this might be on the big man, Salinas. And if it is, that's five on him. And that hurts Sunnyside a lot. He is a force down low, and he will foul out of this ball game with nine points. Great offensive rebound by Eamon, uh, or excuse me, Ethan Easley. And that was kind of accidental that Easley wound up with the basketball on that weak side there after a poor shot. Right. It turned out to be kind of a pass for Easley, and he was able to get his own rebound and draw the foul. He was just like a pogo stick, went right back up and grabbed his own <laughs> rebound and put it back up. Crazy. You Easy. had hops like that at one point, uh, didn't you? No, I didn't. No? I wish I did. Oh. I couldn't wear enough ankle weights to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Easily now trying to extend this 56-53 Eastmont lead. By the way, double bonus rest of the way for Eastmont. Free throw off oh. the front of the rim, no good. He'll get another one. Maldonado thought it was uh, one and one. Easily now has attempted six free throws here in this fourth quarter. It's three of six for 50% here in this period. And the referees are trying to figure out if it was. Well, I thought it was a shooting foul anyway, wasn't it? Well, regardless, they're in the oh, double bonus, as you mentioned. I think they're talking about the shot clock. So if it wasn't a shooting foul, then there should be time off the shot clock. A couple of oh, no, seconds they, they went they off ran. the game clock. Yeah. So easily missed his first one. He'll get another one here. On the way, it's good this time. Four-point Eastmont lead, 320 left fourth quarter. Can the Wildcats hold on and move on here in the Big Nine tournament? Achoa, free throw line, far side, Garcia with it. Hands it off there, Maldonado on the baseline. Takes the baseline, but boy, a lot of tall players oh. in there. Gets the shot to go. How did he wow. do it? Fouled. And he has a chance for a three-point play. Logan Snyder picks up, is that correct? First foul on Logan yeah, Snyder tonight. Yeah. As Maldonado cuts this to a two point game, can make it a one point game with a made free throw now. Coach two or three hollering out there at McNair. What are you doing on the, on the uh, key on a free throw when you got four fouls? Good point. One point game now for Eastmont. 57 56, under three minutes left to go. Do you call it a key anymore, Grant? I do. <laughs> Travato, nice look underneath. Oh, Monahan, the turnaround, good. Beautiful. Nice pass. There by Travato on the baseline. Now McNair hangs in the air and gets it to go. Wow, this kid can jump. 59 58. Travato for three. Well off the mark. Garcia 
the rebound, and I don't think that's the shot no. Coach Juarez wanted on no, that possession. why not bleed the clock that's a little right. bit here? Maldonado now, Sunnyside could retake the lead here with the made basket. 15 oh on this. My. There's Maldonado, long range, no good. I don't think that's the shot that uh, Coach Seibel wanted either. Now a turnover on Eastmont. Back the other way, it's McNair. Baseline cut off there by a double team and just dribbles out of it. Now down to Choa, working on Travato. Gives it to McNair, baseline, had a bit of room, takes the shot, no good, and there's Logan Snyder with the rebound. Minute 50 left, down court, Monahan, it's good. Boy, Eastmont needed that bucket so badly. 25 points for Heyman Monahan now in this game. He's had a whale of a ball game. Had to have every single one of them, too. That's right. Maldonado now working on Monahan, gets him to... Uh, Go back on defense, misses the shot though. Travato the rebound to Lo Logan Schneider, who gets it to Heimbinger. Minute 22 left to go. Can the Wildcats hold on? Three point Eastmont lead, and Coach Juarez wants a quick timeout. Left to go here in the fourth Full quarter. Timeout. It's Eastmont 61 and Sunnyside 58. We'll come back courtside with you in 30 seconds. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. Tonight's broadcast also brought to you by One Way Construction. Your project, your way. Find them online at onewaycontructionnw.net. And by Sangster Motors. The American Challenge is on at Sangster Motors, home of the all-new Yukon SUV. Well, I give credit to Sunnyside for coming out and just scrapping with Eastmont. Oh, boy. I mean, it's been a battle all night long back and forth. They have definitely wanted to move on in this tournament. There's no doubt about it. Played spirited game here at Eastmont tonight. It ain't over yet, Grant. It's not. Here's Monahan now with a minute 13 left. Eastmont clinging to a three-point lead. Snyder has it over his head, looking for some help. Finds Monahan. Five on the shot clock. Monahan puts up the bomb. It's good. 28 points in the game for Eamon Monahan. A six-point Eastmont lead. Maldonado. Far side, McNair has it now, baseline, dumps it down to Ochoa, and Sunnyside turns it over. Here's Monahan with it. Back Sunnyside's out, got a foul. Heimbinger. Boy, you would think so right here, finally Ochoa, no, and a timeout is called first. Very surprising there that uh, Sunnyside didn't foul. Our score with 37 seconds left is Eastmont 64 and Full Sunnyside 58. We'll take another break. 64-58, don't go anywhere. We're back in 30. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Broadcast brought to you by Save Marge. Shop smart, shop local, providing outstanding value and service since 1962. Here we go, Eric. We Six just, point we, lead. We just found out that Wenatchee beat Moses Lake tonight, 55 41. So if Eastmont holds on to this, guess what? We have another game. We got another game on Friday night, right here. 
the fourth time, possibly, Eastmont and Wenatchee. 30 seconds. Why is Sunnyside not fouling I right now? Know. Down by six. They 30 finally do. seconds even left. Wasted about, what, three, four seconds right yeah. there. Spencer Heimbigner is going to head to the free throw line. David Achoa the foul. And that's his first in the game. Spencer Heimbinger has two points, and those were in the first quarter, has not been to the line yet. Free throw on the way, in and out, no good. He'll get another one. Heimbinger, free throw, good. 65-58, now if you're Eastmont, no fouls here with yeah. 26 seconds. Travel. McNair to Maldonado. The shot's no good. Maldonado then throws it off the thigh of Eamon Monahan and it goes out of bounds. 20 seconds even left in the game. Seven point Eastmont lead. 65 58. We'll take another 30 second timeout and come back right after this. Stay with us. Out of that timeout, Sunnyside basketball, Maldonado into Noah McNair. Eastmont turning up the pressure now. The three-pointer is taken no good by Salinas. And then we've got a grabbing foul on Garcia. Just to get that clock stopped with 12.4 seconds left. Eastmont up by seven. Boy, good hard-fought win for Eastmont here Boy, tonight. I guess they earned this yeah, one. Yeah, they did. Trailed it after the first quarter, 19-13. Trailed it 29-24 at halftime. Closed the gap to two at the end of the third and really took it to Sunnyside here in the fourth quarter. Reese Gallagher at the free throw line. First one on the way, good. First point of the night for Reese Gallagher off the bench, the 6'2 junior for the Wildcats. I assume you want to talk to Eamon Monaghan. I do. Okay. Yep. 28 points in this game. Free throw good by Gallagher. And by the way, 20 of the 28, Eric, here in the second half for wow. Monahan. That's amazing. Here's Maldonado now. No. The four shot good. And that should do it with one second left. And it does. And Eastmont eliminates the Sunnyside Grizzly and moves on in the District 9 or District Big 9 District Tournament with a 67 61 victory over the Sunnyside Grizzlies. We'll take a two minute timeout and come back with the post game show right here on the NCW Life Channel. News, weather, and sports. It's all here weekdays at 5, 6, and 10 on your local news source, the NCW Life Channel. Connect with us on Networked as we introduce you to the people and organizations who are leading innovation in the region. Get inspired, engaged, and networked right here on the NCW Life Channel.
All right, we are back as the post-game show gets underway here on the NCW Life Channel, and I am joined by our player of the game, Eamon Monahan, unofficially 28 points tonight. Eamon, eight in the first half, 20 big points in the second. All right, you guys started out quickly, jumped out to a 5 to nothing lead, and then it seemed like kind of a struggle through the end of the first quarter into the second quarter. You guys just seemed a little bit sluggish to come out tonight. Did you guys feel that as well? Yeah, definitely. We... We struggled getting some offensive, re or getting defense rebounds and getting offense rebounds um, on the offensive side. And you know, this is a much shorter team than you guys were size-wise, but they were doing a great job, weren't they, getting position in that first yeah, half? Yeah, they were. They were really aggressive and just found the loose balls. So what did Coach Juarez tell you guys at halftime to kind of get yourselves open a little bit more on your shot? Because it seemed like you had a lot more open shots in that second half. Yeah, basically just push the ball up and transition. I guess it's open shots and... Just hustle up the court, really. And then when Terrell Malcolm fouled out in the fourth quarter, you guys didn't panic. You guys kept the pressure on and kept the, getting those good shots, and that was so key tonight. Yeah, he's definitely a really good. He's a, one of our best players, and he really is aggressive and gets all those loose balls, so that was tough to have him out, and we just had to step up when he wasn't there. All right, well, I don't know if you know it or not, but Wenatchee defeated Moses Lake tonight in Moses Lake, so now you have another home game right here Friday night for the fourth time against the Wenatchee Panthers. That's got to be exciting. Yeah, that's going to be an exciting game. So congratulations, Eamon, once again. 28 points unofficially tonight as the Eastmont Wildcats advance with the 67-61 to win over the Sunnyside Grizzlies. Once again, Eamon, congratulations. Thank you. All right, when we come back, we'll take a quick look at our game stats as our post-game show continues here on the NCW Life Channel right after this. Rick Perez! Join us for live coverage of the Royalty Selection Pageant sponsored by Cashmere Valley Bank, Saturday, February 19th. The countdown to coronation gets underway at 6.30. The pageant starts at 7. Coverage is sponsored by... Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Coldwell Banker Cascade, Mary Maids, August Edge, Apple Valley Honda, and the Chelan County PUD's Discovery Center. It's the Royalty Selection Pageant only on the NCW Life Channel. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Yes, it's me, it's my husband. I think he's having, is there something the matter with him? It was a feeling that I'll never forget, like being able to meet them and know that he survived. Okay, tell me what's happening. Is he conscious? No, he's not. He's okay. not. Okay, take a deep breath for me. I'm getting you help. Rivercom means to me that I still have my husband here with me. They're the ones that guided me through saving his life. joined now by Eastmont Wildcat head coach George Juarez and George started off like gangbusters a five to nothing lead and then your team just seemed a little bit sluggish midway through the first quarter and even into that second quarter you're right we were uh, the term we used sluggish was lethargic we just felt like we couldn't get things going we were all like a half a step behind and mentally I felt that that we weren't as uh, aggressive and uh, but we had a good second half you know, you know, whatever adjustments you made at halftime, players were becoming a little bit more open in that second right. half, and you guys got a lot better shots off. Yeah, and, and really it was nothing magical. What we talked about was, listen, we have something inside of us, and it, we either are going to get that out or we're going to be home tomorrow. And I don't mean playing a game. <laughs> I mean we're going to be in our homes. It's a win or lose uh, winner stay home type situation. Uh, loser stay home. Well, that's what Eric and I talked about. You guys didn't just win tonight. You earned this win oh, tonight. Geez. You really did. Yeah, Sunday's I played a great game, you know, and uh, when we played them at their place, it was it was a solid game as well. They came back on us, but uh, it was a good, hard-fought high school basketball game. You and know? they have a good young team over there, that's for sure, with a lot of youngsters. Yes. All right, yes. Coach, now Friday night. For the fourth time, That's what you I hear. have the Wenatchee Panthers who defeated Moses Lake, I think, by about 13 tonight on the road. So the fourth time with the Panthers, how does that make you feel? You know, um, I just know that um, Crosstown rival game, I'm glad it's in our house, is always a great, uh, great show. So I'm looking forward to the, our fourth meeting. Well, Coach, I can't wait to talk to you again on Friday <laughs> night. Congratulations, hard-fought, well-earned victory tonight, and congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, Coach George Juarez of the Eastmont Wildcats. We'll just take a short minute timeout, and we'll come back and wrap things up from Eastmont High School after this.
Hi, I'm Shauna Larson. I'm the designated broker here at Laura Mounter Real Estate. We are a locally owned firm and we've worked hard to earn our reputation of always doing business the right way. Laura Mounter Real Estate is continually investing in the best technologies and highest quality marketing. For these reasons, our community has voted us the world's best real estate office for the past five years. If you have real estate needs, let a Laura Mounter real estate agent show you the difference. You love to help others. You need a solid career. You can have it all with help from Charter College. Our 10-month medical assistant program prepares you to work in healthcare settings like physician offices, rehab centers, and clinics. You'll learn to take patient vitals, assist with exams, administer injections, and maintain medical records. When you're ready to launch a rewarding healthcare career, visit chartercollege.edu because we work to get you to work. All right, we are back. Grant Olson joined now by Eric Grandstrom. And Eric, what a game. Like I told, uh, mentioned to Coach Juarez, you didn't just win this game. You earned this yeah. win tonight. Oh, they did. Boy, he agreed. And, and credit Sunnyside. I mean, oh, they came boy. out and really took it to Eastmont tonight and gave them everything they possibly had, including fouling, uh, you know, some key opponents out of the game. And Eastmont able to survive here tonight and move on to the district tournament. And then that rematch with Wenatchee huh. coming up on Is Friday. Is that night. unbelievable? Here we thought we were done tonight. We're not. Yeah, I'm no, glad about uh -uh, that. Uh -uh, not it's at all. It's going to be a lot of fun coming well, up and, on Friday. And, and you talk about Eastmont, what they're able to do tonight. Shooting from the field. Grant, they finished 42.8% from the field, 24 for 56 in the wow, game. Wow. And you shoot like that, especially in the second half. They yeah. really brought it to them in the second half. They shot almost 60% in Amazing. the second half to finish this game. And, you know, leading scores, we'll just go through the three quickly. The top three usually for Eastmont, 28 for Eamon Monahan, 16 for Ethan Easley, and 14 on the night for Terrell Malcolm, who fouled out. And also rebounds. We talked about Sunnyside having that big edge at halftime. They ended up tied tonight in rebound. So that talks about what Eastmont was able to really do and uptick their entire game in that second half. Well, this is a good, young, sunny side team. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see a lot from them in the next couple of Absolutely. years. Absolutely. So be sure and join us on yeah. Friday night. We'll be back here again. I think the <laughs> like game time. Like you don't have enough to do, right? right? Know, the next few Why days? not just yeah. throw it a basketball game on Friday night? Uh, <laughs> Six o'clock, I think, is game yeah. time for uh, that district tournament action so district six four eight tournament right here at eastmont high school we'll have that for you uh, fourth time around <laughs> for eastmont and Wenatchee. hey thanks to our crew here tonight for uh, helping us bring you this broadcast including malcolm whitehall back in the studio we have josiah davison and dan coots was here for a little bit here uh, to help us with the line producing tonight uh, also hunter muma and nate mann and matthew ortiz on the cameras thank you guys appreciate that it doesn't happen unless they're back there That's right uh, doing That's their job absolutely. and, and uh, we just get to sit here and watch great <laughs> basketball i love it it's the best job in the world <laughs> World. All right, so for my broadcast partner, Eric Granstrom, I'm Grant Olson, hoping you have a great rest of your Wednesday night, and we will see you again Friday night right here at Eastmont High School for Eastmont Wenatchee Part 4 <laughs> on the NCW Life Channel. Good night, everyone.